The movie opens by showing a Delta Force team preparing for its mission in the Philippines. Their mission is to capture a CIA agent from terrorists targeting Viktor Petrov, a Russian arms dealer and former KGB member. They're trying to relax while chatting, as this mission could be one of the last missions of their life, indicating the danger of this operation. In the meantime, the surgeons get ready to jump from the helicopter in their particular drop zone, as most of the surgeons are very well trained and experienced, but Sergeant Kinney is the newbie here. So Sergeant Bishop warns him not to make any mistake that can spoil the entire mission. One by one, they all halo jump from the helicopter and land on a seashore. In this mission, a drone observes the team and the entire area to provide instructions. The man giving instructions is Eddie Grimm, a drone pilot known as Reaper stationed at a military base in Las Vegas. The team started their mission by going through a jungle. The leader of this team is Master Sergeant John Sugarsweet. Suddenly, Sergeant Abel sees some movements in the middle of the jungle. And everyone gets ready with their weapons and also tells Reaper to check the facts through the drone. But while doing profound observation, they get a system malfunction and Reaper can't get them the information about their surroundings. So Sugar instructs Sergeant Abel to prepare with his sniper, who is an exceptional marksman. Then they proceed to the designated location, but the movement was made by a pig after all. They finally arrive at the point where they can see Petra's entire compound. They also spot some of his men guarding the area. Now Sergeant Sugar Kinney and another pair, Sergeant Abel and Bishop, go their separate ways to carry out their mission, but they always contact each other to keep each other informed. Sergeant Abel and Bishop find cabins on their way. After searching, they find them empty. Sergeant Kinney is positioned on the roof of the small cabin, attempting to set up a device to contact Reaper. Meanwhile, Sergeant Bishop spots some individuals walking around the area and identifies Petrov. At the military base, Reaper was giving his instructions while a group of soldiers watched a game on TV, making loud noises. Reaper told them to let him know if anyone called and asked for him as his wife could go into labor at any time, but they never paid any heed to him. Meanwhile, the team spotted some armed men approaching the area in two cars. These men are from Ambu Sayaf and their leader Sayyid Hashimi has accompanied them to purchase weapons from Petrov. Besides, he's a terrorist and Petrov is helping him by supplying him with a gun. In the meantime, they have fixed their drone and Reaper is again ready to help the team. Sergeant Kinney gives Reaper a short explanation about their surroundings so that he can keep up with them. All of a sudden, Hashimi shoots at Petrov and his men, and they also begin to attack Petrov's men. They take Petrov, his wife, and their son hostage. First, they behead his wife in front of Petrov. Then they bring their little boy to do the same with him. But Sergeant Abel is not prepared to witness the same horrifying thing happening to the child, so he seeks permission from Sugar to shoot. Kenny informs Reaper that a weapon effect is needed between the compound and the tent. In response, Reaper launches a missile toward the compound. But as they are about to behead the kid, Sergeant Bishop cannot wait any more and shoots Hashimi's leg. The missile launched at the compound seconds later, bombarding the entire place. This allowed the young boy to escape. Kenny hears sticks chewing gum on a tiny stone and throws it inside. Then he hears people talking inside, understanding this place has a cave inside it. At that moment, three of Abu Sayyaf's men emerge and one spots Kenny. However, Abel takes down the man instantly and bombs the place. More hostiles are behind Abel and they start shooting at each other. During the intense shooting, Abel is shot down by a hostile. In the meantime, another group of people arrives and launches grenades using RPGs at the team. Abel is once again shot down, seriously injured, and eventually dies. The team is struggling as they are under heavy fire from the RP teams and Sugar wants Kenny to tell Reaper that they need some bombs down here. As Kenny does so, Reaper launches another missile toward the RPG team and bombs it down in seconds. But Kenny loses connection with other team members because of the RPG attack. He runs from there and goes inside a jungle. Later, with Reaper's help, he starts moving and hears that targets are coming towards him east and west. He hides himself under the slope of a tiny pond. Even though the hostile can't see him, their dog catches Kenny's smell and starts barking while standing before him. One of the hostiles even comes to check, but as the dog moves from there, so does he. Finally, they all are gone and he is safe to move. As the night falls, it's hard to see the surroundings around Kenny. Reaper plans to send a rescue helicopter to pick Kenny up. Kenny uses his mic vision binoculars to search the area and informs Reaper so the helicopter can land. As it comes near Kenny, he suddenly gets shot on his plate. Hostiles from everywhere start shooting at the helicopter. Because of the worst situation, the aircraft cannot land anymore and returns from there. Then they start shooting at Kenny, and he asks Reaper to bomb the place where most of the hostiles are. As the Reaper does so, most of the hostiles get killed. But the shooting isn't still stopping as more trucks are coming towards Kenny. Reaper suggests staying low because he's sending a fighter plane to eliminate them all. 
As the plane arrives, it launches missiles wherever it detects the hostiles and bombs the entire area. Kenny runs from there safe from the blast and knows from Reaper that the whole area is clear now. Kenny starts walking towards the northeast and gradually the morning comes. While conversing with Reaper, Kenny loses control and plunges into the water, his weapon gets stuck in the hill, and he hears from Reaper that three armed hostiles are coming towards him. So he gets ready with his gun and starts shooting abruptly toward them. Then he starts running as they're still coming towards to catch him. But he reaches the edge of the mountain, where he finds a waterfall. Without hesitation, he jumps into the water and hides behind the waterfall. After coming to a safer place, he relaxes. But a hostile is already pointing a gun towards him. They take Kenny to their place and torture him while binding his hands. But suddenly, a strange man arrives at their place and starts shooting at them. It was Sergeant Sugar who was still alive. He saves Kenny and tells him that Sergeant Bishop got captured. So they have to go now to save him. They take weapons from the place and go for their mission. Kenny again contacts Reaper and tells him that they're going to save one of their team members instead of getting the asset. They want a rescue plane to stand by so they can return from there as soon as possible. But they again lose the connection in the middle of the conversation. They return to the first place and plan how to proceed with the mission. They will launch three strikes. They'll go and find Bishop after the first strike. The second will divert attention and the final one will bomb the caves to neutralize all enemies. They also told Reaper their plan and he prepared accordingly. In the meantime, Colonel does packet forces Reaper and Staff Sergeant Nia Bransanto to leave the place as their shift ends. Sergeant Sugar and Kenny finally go in through the compound and kill a hostile on the way. They enter the building where two hostiles are watching the game. They attack them, but another guy arrives and they start fighting fiercely with all of them. Eventually, they kill all of them, but another guy comes firing at them. But Sugar kills him and goes inside from another entrance. Uncountable hordes of enemies are shooting at them and they're fighting back. Suddenly, Sugar gets shot. So in the meantime, another man attacks Kenny, and as he is about to kill him, Sugar once again saves his life by shooting the assailant from behind. But they throw a grenade toward Kenny and Sugar. When they regain consciousness, they realize they have been captured and are being held in a separate cell with Bishop. They torture them horribly, as they all were wounded very deeply and bleeding everywhere. Kenny then shouts at the people present there to tell them that they're going to bomb these caves, but no one pays heed to him. They take out badly injured Sugar from his cell, and Hashimi kills him by shooting him in the head. They still have 14 minutes to go for the second attack. They take Kinney out of his cell and torture him. Hashimi grabs a hammer and a kukri sword intending to brutally kill Kinney. He hits Kenny's face with a the hammer. They are forcefully holding Kenny's face in the water, and Hashimi continuously asks him, where are the other soldiers? Kenny tells him again about the bomb, but he thinks everything is a lie. Hashimi's men are holding his whole body in a tub full of water without letting him breathe. At that time, the second missile launches and destroys the entire cave, along with everyone inside. But fortunately, Kenny wasn't harmed at all as he was under the water. They have 15 minutes till the final attack. After leaving the tub, Kenny grabs the Kukri sword and stabs Sayed Hashimi, ultimately killing him. Then he takes Bishop from his cell, takes the CIA agent, and tries to find a way to get out of the cave because they only have five minutes until the final strike. In the meantime, Kenny tries to call the military base to talk with Reaper. However, the irresponsible soldiers are more focused on their game. Even though one of the soldiers picks up the phone that cuts the call in the middle of the conversation to concentrate on the game. Then Kenny again calls Reaper's number but leaves a voice message as he couldn't talk to him. Reaper leaves everything behind in the supermarket and runs to the base after hearing Kenny's voicemail. Reaper continuously calls their office, but no one receives it as they are all absorbed in the game while neglecting their jobs. Kenny is running with his mates from the cave to save themselves from the upcoming strike, and Reaper is running towards the control room to abort the plan of the final attack. As he is successful in doing so, the fighter plane crosses the area without attacking while flying over Kinney. Reaper approaches the soldiers enjoying the game while ignoring a life-or-death situation for a JTAC operator in the field. Then he breaks the TV because they're ignoring this crucial matter. The movie concludes with all of them safely returning to their home country, Thanks to the bravery of a young, inexperienced surgeon, J.J. Kinney. What do you think of this recap? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. A like from you and maybe subscribing would be a great support for us. That's it for now. See you in the next video.